And even have retired local government workers for Plateau State. They don't call on the government, say, making chook mouth and chook hand and making them pay their pension and gratuities and where they pending since 2011. And then Yang said they don't continue to wait since the last nine years and say, though plenty entities into the state government, say nothing they don't do. And say some of them, then Yang with the Plus TV Africa and they come gather for just Plateau State Capital, say many aged retirees and uh, wait, they wait for their pension and gratuities, so some of them don't die without any sign of the government intervention. Since that period, they have not given us our gratuity. And we have pension areas. And they have been paying us 55% of our entitlement, which is against the agreement that we had during the minimum, 18,000 naira minimum wage agreement. And you can imagine, it's getting to, it's almost 10 years now. 20, since 2011. We're still appealing to government and we may appeal to other organizations who can help us. And I think we may be able to, to see what the last resort will be. Honestly, we, 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 we just have to face on government because the Public Complaint Commission has taken a decision and given government that they should pay us. And up to now, they have not really done it. So we are looking at the possible ways Maybe it could be litigation. They did not give us a writing. Nothing, you just retire, go away the whole day, day, you are captured. They give you what they can give you, but not following the orders of the day. It is not easy to flex muscles with government. It is not easy. More so that we don't have money. More so that we don't have any other means of uh, livelihood. That's why we have come here to take up a decision as to what to do. Hey, they are my retreating us. Our own system of the payment, no gratuity, no pension. The pension, even in Bokosma, we see uh, Bokosma has owned us one month's salary. 